In the second video on conjectural variation, we're going to look at Carnot, this time with competitive conjectural variation. So what is conjectural variation? We're no longer going to assume a firm takes its rival's actions as given or fixed. A firm might expect its decisions will change the behavior of its competitor. Firm 1's conjectures are going to be given by the following function. Firm 1 is going to think that Firm 2's output may be in response to what Firm does. So if Firm 1 increases output by one unit, maybe Firm 2 will reduce its output by one unit. Firm 2's conjectures are likewise given by a function. Firm 2 may think that Firm 1's output will be a function of its actions, Firm 2's actions. So we're going to con assume competitive conjectural variation which means that suppose if one firm restricts output by one unit, the other firm will counteract that by expanding output by one unit. That means that the derivatives of these functions given up above will be minus one. So again, if firm one increases output by one unit, firm two will reduce its output by one unit, so we get the variables moving in opposite direction, so a minus one here sign on the derivatives. Carnot assumes both these derivatives are zero. It is, Carnot assumes that a firm takes its rival's actions as given. So we're going to have this two-firm Carnot. Here is the market inverse demand. Each firm has a marginal cost that is constant at four dollars. Firm one's revenue will be price times its output. Q subscript one is firm one's output. So substituting 250 minus Q in for the price, firm one's revenue looks like this. And then for Q, the industry output, the industry output will be firm one's output, Q subscript one, plus this term in red, which is firm two's output as a function of firm one's output. Again, this term in red is firm two's output as a function of firm one's output. Simplifying by multiplying this Q subscript 1 through what's in brackets, we get this result. Next, we get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is the derivative of the revenue function with respect to firm 1's output. And we get this result right here. We're going to assume that this derivative here, this last term on the right-hand side, this derivative is minus 1, like we stated on the first slide. So making that substitution, plugging in minus 1 here, marginal revenue equals the following. And that will simplify down to this expression. Setting marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. And simplifying, the total industry output, the output of firm 1 plus firm 2, will equal 246 units. Plugging this 246 back into the inverse demand, we see that the price equals $4. This is a competitive outcome. Notice this price of $4 equals marginal cost. So price equals marginal cost, we get the competitive outcome. We can't state with certainty how much output firm 1 and firm 2 will produce. We just know that collectively together, both firms will produce 246 units. And these units will sell at a price of $4. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.